What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and we are in our Miami Dolphins online user franchise. It is week eight, which means that it's also the trade deadline soon, which it's very early in this week, so maybe we have a chance to make a trade or two. Don't think we would want to be looking to add anyone, but maybe trade Byron off to a team that maybe isn't performing as well, maybe land another pretty good pick in the uh, draft. I don't know. There's a bunch of quarterbacks here as well coming up. Not that I want one, but obviously if there's a bunch of quarterbacks, we land a high pick. If we don't find someone we like, we can trade down for maybe a King's Ransom, if you will. It seemed to work out really well for us last year. Ward has been pretty damn good for us, and we ended up with a first round next year, which is this year, obviously. But you may know that, <laughs> notice uh, there was a bit of a break in between. Obviously, we had a bye week and the Chiefs game that, of course, doesn't have a user because EA still won't let us have max users. These are the players of the week. Uh, Demario Davis with three picks, two sacks, two forced fumbles for the Patriots. Uh, Trevor Lawrence with some numbers, but uh, it wasn't a very good sim game for us either. The numbers, like the, the score was high, but the stats really weren't great, and you'll see in a minute why. Not that I don't like, uh, you know, Puka Williams, but Puka kind of stole the stats. You know, this is a sim loss for the Chiefs, but hey, I'm glad that the, you know, the AI uh, did well. <laughs> Two uh, good yards, but touchdowns, ugh. But I suppose our yards are better this year than touchdowns. We just got to force some touchdowns in there, but obviously uh, rushing. Five rushing touchdowns, or four rushing touchdowns for us. One for whoever the hell that guy is. But three for Puka. Give it to Mitchell, dude. Fuller had a good game. I'll take the Peoples-Jones game. Gasicki had a touchdown. I mean, yards were fine, like I said. But that, you know, we're looking for touchdowns on top of it. Defensively wasn't great. You know, you had a, uh, one sack. John Franklin will take it. And then Sneed got the pick. How is that fair that we get the sim pick when we're the team that's supposed to win? You know, I feel like if you're in a sim situation and you get the force, they should give you no picks. We had a breakout scenario. Mr. Redwine. So basically, unless he gets it in sim against the Chiefs, he's going to have a chance to go to Superstar Dev going up against his former team. Now, while not super long there, still, you know, he thought maybe he was getting a new start and he was screwed. He was scammed. He's going to be pissed. Hopefully. Take a look at the team. Look at his team. Look at the a million upgrades we have. And then, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. But Tua is getting closer and closer to uh, his to, 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 uh, to his uh, last ability slot. Uh, Mitchell has an upgrade point, which may be elusive again, just in hopes of maybe a speed upgrade. Oh, yeah, Phillips. He's going to have an ability. Oh, he's going to get something awful, but... We'll get to that another time, or in a little bit, actually. Uh, and then Redwine, that uh, that breakout is still active because we didn't get to play our game. So against his former team, uh, he will get a chance to go to Superstar. I don't know how much that's going to matter. He's 26, which is maybe just on the cusp of, you know, maybe not being worth it. We'll see. Uh, the Jets team, though, he's done a pretty damn good job in the draft, or drafts, if you will. Uh, Noah Fant was a good trade. He's got a bunch of... Star development lineman. Makai Becton's really hard to play against because he's a god on the interior. Uh, Tyrese Loft. Don't know who this guy is, but he has 88 power move. He must be one of those like really high like A power move guys that you get in the draft that are raw, but, you know, great power move is great power move. I almost said great responsibility. That would have been weird. Vontae Mack, very fast. Uh, a bunch of fast guys in general. Still has Van Ginkle, but not starting him anymore. The Pains. Uh, of course, some decent cornerbacks, obviously. Some speed there as well. Decent free safety. Decent strong safety. I mean, we'll take a look at kicker punter, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, but for the upgrades, let's take a look at them. There's some pretty good ones, actually. I think Fuller was one of them as well. Like we said, a Mitchell. Uh, we're going to knock Phillips out of the way. Normally, we save the best for last, but maybe that's why we normally don't get it. Save the best for first. I don't even know what that means. Good upgrade. What did he get? Nothing. Yes, I love it. Quickly change his dev. Oh, crap. What was his ability? God damn it, dude. I think he had... It was something trash. <sighs> Whatever. I guess we are saving the best for last. Elijah Mitchell, what are those ratings looking like? So, uh, we could use a spin move upgrade, but you're pretty much going to only use juke moves anyways. I'm actually going to do the, the sin and do power, power back. Screw it. Give me some trucking, baby. Thank you. I'll take it. 79 trucking. Once we get into the 80s, I'll be... Very happy. Wilkins, a guy that we're probably going to trade next season. Block shedding is nice, but people fall for the power move more. So we're going to go power move, which could still give him block shedding. And it doesn't, but plus two to power move. Fair enough. Maybe get like a third out of him or something. That'd be all right. 
Austin Jackson has played pretty well for us. He's developing nicely. Going to give him a power upgrade, which puts him at 81. Only one point. Okay, we'll take that, though. Run block. Uh, what is this run block power? Oh, yeah, we'll take that for sure. Uh, that's actually a pretty good upgrade. And then we're going to keep Hutchins in going. Once again, these are interior guys. The only issue with the, you know going for power upgrades is if you do decide to change them to like a tackle or something, it's like, uh-oh. You know, he kind of sold, but he is kind of a slower guy, so I doubt we'll play him on the outside uh, or the edge, if you will. But Javon Har uh, Hargrave, uh, Holland, not a great upgrade. Will Fuller, what do we, we kind of want to keep the scheme fit, but realistically, you kind of want to do deep threat to get that speed going again. Wait, what's this catching? Uh, he dropped hard in catching. What's the best for catching? Slot's actually a pretty good upgrade. We'll take it. 89 overall. What do we get? Please be like 99. That is a good upgrade, though. Three to medium, two to short. Was that? That's filthy, though. Okay, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I'll tell you that. Petrovsky, unless he gets like plus 10 to catching or something, he's not going to be that great here. Uh, two to catching, two to catching trap. We will take that. That's in the right direction, and the run block is nice, too, but obviously a long way to go still. <laughs> Oh, man. And then the blocking fullback. Well, we're trying to make him a blocking fullback. Still a 67 overall, which is great because you get tons. Ooh, nice upgrade, though. Tons of run blocking uh, or upgrades for fullbacks, obviously. All right, run committed. Fair enough. Don't know what abilities he can get, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get this over with. Oh, man. Please just get edge threat or whatever the damn abilities are. Just do it. Would you? Would you just... Would you please just do it, sir? Just do the thing. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Please. Okay. I mean, that's... Like, what could you have had? Like, obviously, edge threat's the best, but... Oh, swim club would have been sick. That's fine, though. You could have had adrenaline rush. You could have had stonewall. I think that's pretty bad. I don't know which abilities are best, but I'll I'll take it. Spin move isn't great, but it's... What the hell is my damn ability? Run committed. Jesus Christ. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, we'll take it, I guess. It's... I mean, you can't really do anything with it anyways. You either, either take it or you take it, because there's no other option. Speaking of the Chiefs, we, uh, of course, do have some openings. The Chargers and the Cowboys. So two pretty good teams, actually. So if you're interested in joining, go take a look at the top line of the description, maybe even the pinned comment. We'll have a Twitter that you can uh, DM and ask about joining. I don't know if they'll be like, maybe you have to play someone to get in. Just to see if, you know, you're uh, decent enough, I suppose. Like, you're not just picking up a video game controller for the first time ever. And the fact that I said that makes you sound like a boomer, so what the hell am I even saying? But the league is free to join, so if anyone asks you, oh, pay some money to get in a league... Don't do it. Let me know. I don't expect that to be the case, but once again, I can't monitor some other interactions on on Twitter. So, you know, whatever goes down in the DMs, I can't see. So let me know. And, uh, yeah, I don't expect that to happen, but just, just throwing that out there. I don't want anyone getting scammed over some freaking Madden League, you know. But, uh, yeah, let's get into the game. Hey, no rain game. That's all I asked for in MetLife Stadium and... East Rutherford, New Jersey. I always heard that. I don't know if that was like one of the intros for one of the games or something, but I, I remember hearing that a bunch of times. Of course, prime time, a little special uniform action. It could have just done black versus white, but, you know, we had enough of that in real world. Hey, this is political. <laughs> I freaking know. Hey, speaking of A, hey, stop. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it kind of stands out, I suppose. What can you do? Uh, let's, uh, I'm, we're going to be paying attention to this red wine fella. We got to make some plays. Damn, Makai just killed me, but Duncan makes a really good play there. I feel like any time we play him, it's like Makai Becton goes straight for red wine. So, <laughs> right, maybe he's a heavy drinker. I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, we missed hard, dude. Good tackle by uh, Tate. First game, we're actually using Tate, who is now a superstar, of course. Where is, uh, oh, is Red Wine not? In? Oh, he's playing man coverage. Oh, what is that? Not only does he get a completion on that, but that could have been one for the books already. That sucks. <laughs> could be a run. What a tackle by Red Wine, or attempt at a tackle, at least. Bring a little bit of pressage. There we go. Good defense. I, kinda. I think you kinda have to just go with the all out here. 
gap press, the whole shebang. Damn, good job, Duncan. Well, good try anyways. So many fall forwards in this league. And by in this league, I mean just in Madden this year, which is, once again, by far the um, most unfortunate thing of the game. I, I mean, I like I said, I feel like it's a pretty good game, but the fall forwards, they're just, they kill me. Fumble! Bruh! Good play off the edge, though, by maybe Phillips. These uh, non-recoveries, though, they're killing me. No way, he just took that. Bruh! Where is my pick? Can I have my interception? He's probably just going to run it. So just the way he's been playing here. Good hits, good hit. That's three turnovers on the first drive that we get none of. And once again, I want to win every game, but I would trade this game, I kind of, for red. Well, once again, I don't know. Playing off a lot, but I don't. I still don't trust the game, so I'm just going to run it. Fall forward. This other guy kind of crumpled in there and, you know, saved it a little bit, but still. As always, the fall forwards, man. So goaded. I need a block from Puka here if I can. Fuller's probably the main look, but he is going against a freaking superstar. Nobody on Gasicki. Damn, I need a stiff arm there. A little short on the play, but that's all right. And we barely got out of the pocket on that one. I'm going to be honest, I was looking for the deeper play. This guy felt like, it, you know, he already went short there. We ran the ball, but I'm just going to take whatever I can get. I mean, I kind of have to. Waddle deep could be the look. I don't know. The safety's kind of over there, though. That is a perfect throw, and Waddle's gone. Jesus, the speed. Welcome back, Waddle. <laughs> He's like, oh, he really comes back against me. Bye week meant nothing, too, which kind of sucks. I think, right? I think he was back during the bye. We try to do what we can to keep red wine uh, near the line of scrimmage. Or not. <laughs> or we'll keep him deep. Don't worry about it. Come on, he's a tiny man. I don't know what his trucking is, but I'm pretty sure it was like no higher than like maybe 80 or 81. Red wine. Oh, good play, Holland. I uh, I kind of got lost a little bit in there. Just like a tiny bit. Just like a little. Oh, I pressured him again. Can I switch to the right guy? Good tackle. Oh, I had him with red wine. I didn't really think to get a chance with a sack with him, but that would have been, you know, would have counted, I suppose. Just missing him by a tiny bit, though. Damn. Oh, my God. Duncan just, like, clotheslined him, kind of. Well, so does his own, own lineman, but... Sheesh. Oh, come on! Pick it off, Johnny boy. Good tackle, red one. Four-yard gain. Has a chance at a field goal here? I mean, maybe, I was going to say, maybe you take a chance with your fake or your go for, but, eh, I think you can easily kick the field goal. That looks a little iffy, though. Whew, that was actually kind of close. We're not going to be too mad with that John Franklin Myers pick in the sense of feeling like we're getting cheated, but damn it, Johnny. I think he got a, a pick in the first season of the series, maybe the second season. I need another one. Win Defensive Player of the Year with this guy. Doubt it, but, you know, <laughs> be kind of cool. Doesn't look like, you know, Will Fuller is being covered over there. I I was staring it down. It really wasn't. It was maybe open. I think the you know, I think his guy gets that, though. He's going to drop him back. I don't blame him, to be honest. Especially on 2nd and 13. And there goes Waddle again. And that juke move, though, doesn't really look that fast. He's got first one free and jukebox. And, like, he doesn't really look that fast there. I uh, wasn't going to run it here, but even though it's, I don't like the delay. Bruh. How? It was, like, double teamed. It's okay. It's not a terrible run. Fuller looks open, but let's be honest, that's just bait. That is a dime. Good catch, Fuller. Don't know why he's jumping for that, but good play. We read that a little late, but he was open enough to where he didn't kind of trust it. 
Peoples Jones touchdown. Beautiful find there. The safety went out for maybe Gasicki there. I don't know. Touchdown two for two on the game on drives for touchdowns. He's still keeping up though. You know, the field goals still add up. I imagine he got the ball first, right? Yeah, it was, because I remember the uh <laughs> the interceptions that weren't. Maybe the fumble as well, but even though it was the blind side and it was like a blind side hit, you can't really expect him to catch it, right? Or catch it, you know. Can't expect him to just fumble automatically because of that fact. That's what I was looking for. The freeze. You see the move I had in there? Hey! Ooh, that freaking move. Red wine almost had a chance at a forced fumble. That was unfortunate. I went to Baker. I thought Baker was going to make the play, and he just kind of didn't. John against the guard. He can. That's all. That's John. All right. You know, you see that lane. Like, even if. I'll take. Good job, fan. I love it. Even if I wasn't trying to go for a scenario with Red One, you know, those are lanes I would normally take anyways. So. I can't, dude. John Franklin Myers is playing against Makai. <laughs> You're on your own at that point, buddy. Oh, what is this? These these play I don't know what our tackling is, but like these are bad players breaking tackles. Like, can we not? Like if Puka was running, he would do the same thing, I'd imagine. But like, can we not do that though? Like, look at the just everything being broken. Our tackling's on like 80 in the league. <laughs> what do you want from us? Oh, I was about to say, dude. Byron's got to jump up there. He's got literally like max jumping. Baker in coverage, dude. We'll go with Tate. Good hit. Bates in coverage against a running back. Not the easiest thing in the world. I mean, obviously here you pretty much just have to like... When you bring the house, but you're bringing the majority of the house. Now you're bringing the house. Good deep. Well, I mean, still going to get it, probably. Damn it, dude. We smoked the interior of his line, but the fall forwards, dude. It's literally impossible. Get in there. Come on, Holland. Oh, oh beautiful. John is a monster. He is actually just so good. Johnny again. And picked off because of John. God damn, I love him. Pushing through like a madman. John Franklin Myers. What a monster. Man covers, got the slant. Bring Gasicki. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice little move as well to the 45. Will this man ever get a freaking breakout, by the way? That blitz, dude. Oh, my God. Jesus. Damn, I got stuck on the line hard. Good tackle. Another hit stick, no fumble. Not that I would want that in that situation, but, you know, he hits me one time. I get fumbled, of course. Damn it, that's kind of my coverage. But I knew what the play was. Another hit, no fumble. But I knew what the play was. So I was trying to bait back on Elijah Moore, and I almost got suctioned, like... Or not suctioned, but I got hit by somebody. I don't know if it was my own guy or what the story was, but... <laughs> Technically, that's illegal, but it is what it is, dude. It is what it is. John Franklin popping off, dude. Oh, is that, that's not my coverage. I don't have coverage. It was main coverage with a hook, I think. We will call a timeout because we look pretty much unstoppable on offense. So, if you even have a chance to get off the field, you might as well. Well, mid off the field without, you know, with some time remaining, that is. Good job, boys. That was... I know we have a bunch of DBs in, but... You know, there's a lot of moving pieces. It's hard for those linemen to keep up sometimes, so... It's not a bad look for him. Three field goals. I mean, he's getting on the board. You never know. 
I mean, with the with the unluckiness we've had on defense, it really could be anyone's game. So he's also coming with some crazy blitzes. You know, these guys are getting in there. We're getting it off with two a last second, but you know, any one of those we could have just barely missed out. You know, I don't see the read right away. Stevenson gets to the 26. Not really worth the return, but you try and you try and you fail and you try and something like that. Peoples Jones. He's got the deep blue out there, but. Run. Slide. No slide. Good catch. A recovery. Once again, barely touched. Fumbles. I also tried to slide, but didn't get it. How does that take 30 seconds? <laughs> How? Quick throw to Gasicki. Another fumble, dude! Like, do I have to just fall down every second? Damn it. Come on, Stevenson. Do better than that, brother man. Pitch to the right, even though it's to the left, technically. Well, he just made that happen, so we're going to go left. Where's this guy going? <laughs> Where's this guy going there? What the hell? This guy was just, like, trying to get blocked or something. That was weird. Could go to Fuller, but I've been a little hesitant on that read. Really, dude? Booth just smoked Waddle. Well, it's Waddle, actually. You pretty much always fall forward on this. So even if you, like, run commits, you're feeling pretty good about that formation. Like, I think it's because the linebackers kind of race out. And they, like, beat the, um, the D-line to the punch. That's a big man. Another, f another freaking truck. Uh, it's all right. Another truck. Hit stick. Wish it was a truck. <laughs> I don't see a damn truck. Kasiki is a truck in the sense that he's really slow. Oh, damn. This guy just, <laughs> just grabbed me. I, I kind of felt, like, embraced. Like, I, feel, I felt loved. I haven't felt that kind of warmth in years. And he just leaves him. His guy just left him. His deep safety just left him. Like, his safety just watched that go by. I think that that was third down, wasn't it? I, I'm pretty sure that was third down. That would have gotten him off the field 14-9, but instead his guy just watches it. I mean, I take that chance anyways because of the speed. Maybe he gets past him regardless just for speed, but at least, like, realize he's going there, right? Nice hit. Flag. Man, that was a bit late. He gets a red one. There you go. Just saw that around the edge. Not bad. The speed, dude. You can read that so easily. The play action is literally like a death sentence. Let's go, John Franklin. No, I got locked up. This guy is wide open, by the way. Kind of strafe. I usually juke early, too, but realistically, when you're playing against users, you probably should just... Just run a straight line. Because you end up juking nothing anyways. Oh, I didn't even mean to, dude. I'm just thinking it's a run every time. We're killing them, but... Who are we going against? Nobody. Okay. Good D, Tate. Ball's a little underthrown. Uh, these animations, dude. Good step up from me there. Is that a lay hip on my guy? He declined it. It was kind of like BS, but like, you know, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like the game doesn't do it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter anyways. Well, I'm stuck in the damn D-line, aren't I? Damn, we missed hard on that edge. This running back's injured now from blocking, maybe? <laughs> I guess. I think we've played perfectly, right? I don't... We never punted. We f Oh, yeah, we fumbled once. Okay, yeah. I don't really consider fumbles to be, like, user error. I know I kind of juked into a hit stick, but he's a fullback. I was like, you know, he probably can take a hit. Usually fullbacks fumble from, like, getting the ball punched out rather than, you know, getting popped. Usually when someone hit sticks a fullback, the fullback is is usually the one doing some damage, right? Petrowski on that block. Good 
There you go, Gasicki. A little bit of a fall forward. I seen him kind of back up. I'm like, yeah, he's probably going to cover that. He has outside leverage, but he'll still run it. Puka with the fall forward on a DT. I know he's getting blocked, but still. So I like to point out any time the game's got, you know, somebody that probably shouldn't be winning, winning, you know? I didn't even, I didn't even motion that. Ah, face mask. He was he was easily taken down there. That animation's got to go, though. Up the middle. Could be a run. No, no run defense. And Mitchell gets hit. But if he fumbles on that, like, that's harsh. Because he knows it's coming. I'm not I'm not trying to truck him. I'm not trying to juke move him. So we, we're ready for it, right? You know, if you're, if you're going for, like, a juke move or something, fair enough. But it wasn't a juke move. As Mitchell's going to walk in. Oh, what the... What the hell was that? As Bro, how far over was that? That juke was nuts. And the Joe juke. That suction was nuts. Uh he's got too many guys on that right. This is a really good defense play. We're gonna play blitz any or blitz pitch anyways. And Mitchell's down to the one because of fall forward animations. Oh man. What is what's the options looking like? Oh, man. Tua, the right hand, the left hander, dude. No shot. He's got to run commit. And Puka gets in. I don't know. I guess we have a bunch of D, uh, wide receivers out there, but little surprised by the fact that he... What the hell is this? What is even happening? I'm being iced by the game. Just randomly iced during an extra point. Like, it's not even, like, intended. I missed hard. Oh, Howard. Tackle. Hard of man covers got beat on that one. Don't know who that guy is, but he might have, like, hidden or something. Or might now have hidden, at least. What the hell? I just fell down. I just fell down under, like, some lineman or something. I don't even know what that was. Johnny Frank. Second and four. Could be a run. Oh, my God. John Franklin's not happy with his former team, it would appear. He's not a fan. That's a good lead, actually. Damn, I really underestimated Fant on that. I really did. That was all my coverage, but more importantly, I just... I didn't think he was going to be able to get there. I was kind of just, like, letting him have it almost. I was, like, baiting it almost, if you will. I was like, eh, whatever. It's not going to get anything off of it. <laughs> Phillips is hurt tackling his quarterback, as you will. Our backup situation is bad. Well, I, I found out if we're going to be making a trade for anyone, what position it's going to be, if that makes anyone feel better. Nice. How the hell did Jones get there? Howard. Ooh, fan had a chance to try and catch that. I think he would have been out of bounds. Broken ribs for Phillips. Great news. Field goal doesn't help him, so he pretty much has to go for it here. Let's go with red one. Byron a fan. I know he's fans a big guy, but... Oh, good job by Tate. Was that? Once again, Tate is insanely fast. <laughs> this, is, this is a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of, bit of heat here. Just going to throw that out there. Jesus. Can we not do that? Ooh, another hit stick for Mac. A curl. Interesting. Dot! Oh my god. That is a hot one. Petrovsky! Yes, he gets a catch. Whatever, run the, run the run anyways. Mitchell, I don't know. It looked like a run commit, but he did have some guys kind of off the line a little bit. Ooh, Puka had a chance. He had a chance to go on that. Man coverage it doesn't really help me out here. Either does this stretch play. Well, maybe. Oh, good play by him. Kind of just could have ran past them. I don't know if he did that, but 
Still in what appears to be man. Oh, his guy actually got that. That is surprising. They want me to kill for it. <laughs> uh, maybe not the worst call in the world, but... Ward, you gotta get out there, dude. Center's hurt, I think. Ward with the pick. Foot, feet right in. Question, question mark. What is that? It's snapping the ball as one of the screenshots, dude. Oh, my God. Ward with a couple of picks. Could have player of the week, perhaps. Could have had three picks in this game, but either way, good stuff. And, uh, yeah, looking at the stat line, very close in rushing yards. In general, very close. Obviously, a couple of fumbles that, you know, kept the game closer than it maybe should have been at times. And we had a couple of picks first drive we didn't get, but... Overall, pretty good game, regardless. You know, clean game from the offense, obviously, but a little worried about if we played against a team with true lockdown corners. I know these guys are getting there, but they're not quite there just yet. You know, what kind of uh, success we'd see, because once again, our ground game sucks. We got to do something about it. It's just like nobody fears it at all. Kind of. I mean, they still bring them up, but like nobody's like really worried about the ground game, so yeah, uh, as far as like stats go, I once again, I don't think Redwine got the second thing, but two only missed one throw out of 16. Mitchell, 4.2 per, which isn't bad because, you know, he had 3.9 per and he has kind of a better line because he has a superstar on the line. I don't know if you kind of waddle a couple of pretty good plays. People's Jones got involved. Gasicki had a couple of catches. Uh, sack totals, two for John, my guy. One for Redwine, one for Tate. And unless Redwine had a forced fumble, I didn't remember seeing. Yeah, unfortunately, he's going to fall short of his scenario. Like I said, can't even expect to have you know hold a half to 150, let alone a full game passing. And yeah, unfortunately, he won't be going up to superstar. But it is what it is. Ward got that upgrade. Uh, man to man, of course, is a great thing to do. But I suppose if you're going for man anyways, you might as well go slot because you get a chance at some other great things. He gets an acceleration, ironically enough. Uh, 95 speed, 95 excel. I gotta like it. All right, Linder. Agility upgrade. Oh, no. Uh, that's, I mean, I wish it was pass block because that's what I need my tackle to do mainly. But, you know, finesse, I suppose. He's playing again, you know, in the edge, on the edge. Outside of pure pass block, there's not really much else he could have upgraded. Maybe he should have just went pass blocker. But fair enough. And, uh, yeah, we got some staff points. We'll probably use that to, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about Phillips' injury. Uh, yeah, well, uh, what else do we have? Um, don't want to look at the injury right away. We got the Raiders next week. There was something I was forgetting. Maybe re-signings? No, not really. Uh, I'm going I'm to need you to play pretty well. I might try to trade for some sort of edge rusher, like I said. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there is much any, you know? We're just going to use our staff points on some sort of XP training thing. And well, I guess let's look at the injury. Four weeks, please. Thank you. Uh, of course, three games, technically. We're going to be losing him for the Raiders, Broncos, and Patriots. Some pretty decently important matchups, I suppose. But 6-1 and one nonetheless. We're rolling. We're playing perfect, pretty well on offense. Phillips had it looked pretty good. But, yeah, maybe we'll look for some sort of edge rusher just for the time being. Uh, you know, once again, I don't feel great about our backup edge position. So, uh yeah, definitely need to grab somebody if we can. Maybe they'll be on like a contract or something. We can just, I don't know what our draft picks are. I don't think we have a second round pick. So maybe we can offer like a third round pick for some like older guy that's good, but just, you know, on a semi-cheap contract. I don't know. But anyways, that's pretty much going to be it. If you guys have uh, enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Once again, GG to our opponent. He's had uh, a couple of tough matchups and uh, he's done all right against them, obviously. You know, early on, maybe some picks that should have been picks, but outside of that, you know, kind of settled down a little bit, settled in and looked a little bit better. Still think teams, even though he did run the ball decently, uh, you know, run amount at least, maybe didn't have that much success, do need his run against as hardcore. Uh, but once the run looks like it's, you know, obvious, I just switched to John Franklin. So, I mean, maybe double him, but Duncan looked good on his own early too. So, I don't know, I think our team's just starting to get good. I really do, but... Yeah, like I said, that's about it. Maybe uh, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PKR Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys come back for the next video. But until the next video.